Hi, my name is Nathan. Hi, I'm Shirley Yap. And uh, it was really fun uh, working with you guys for Lindy Level 3 here at the 920 Special. Our theme this month was called Footnotes from the Social Dance Floor. And basically, this is just a bunch of fun, crazy stuff that Shirley and I have been playing around with on the dance floor that we wanted to share with you. So, um, so the first thing we did was what we call a wonky swing out, so, uh, or wonky end of swing out. So we started the class off with just having people kick. Like you're a little straight kid. Leg. Yeah, very straight leg kicks. And we're just going to add this to the end of a swing out. Okay, funny faces are not optional. <laughs> okay, then uh, we, we played around with the heel pops, and the heel pops just stretching away and putting it in basically anywhere you, you would take a rock step. So we did it in a six count mode. Da ba da da ba da, ooh wah. Ooh wah, and you can do any six counts you want. Ooh wah. And then we did this fancy move. Ba, ooh wah. Little turn for the leader, ooh wah and then she can do the heel pop as a kind of a response to the leader. And our final move is called uh, the Titanic, and, and you'll see why when we show you what it looks like. Okay, we did both a leader and a follower's version. The leader's version looked like this. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, and back step. Okay, and I'm paying attention to the follower here. I'm gonna do that one more time. If we want to do it as a specific as an eight count footwork, step, step, triple step, 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 triple step, back step. Always paying attention to the follower. Depending on how she turns out of that, I'm timing my rock step to match hers. Uh, we also did a follower's version of the Titanic where she goes out one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, and the follower keeps going so that we can exit this several different ways, sorry, out the window. A one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Catching her on the back and leading her into a swing out. Or catching her hand in open position. A one, two, three, and four, a five, six, seven, and a boo, ba, ya, da, da. Now the one thing I want to say when we set you free with this on the social dance floor is that if you catch your partner's hands and you keep them high, this hurts a lot. Don't do that. Let the hands come down to your partner's waist level. As they're coming, I'm going to do it one last time. One, two, relax the hands down. That's going to make it a lot uh, safer. And a little goes a long way on this move. It doesn't have to be a huge stretch. Even a little stretch will go a long way. OK. So thanks for joining us. I think that was it. Hope to see you again sometime soon. You can check out us at www.swingornothing.com.